Welcome to the Virtual Real Estate Investing Podcast. I'm doing this one solo. This is John Plumstead. My trusty partner, Frank, is off, and we're going to do a quick episode um, to try to make it something that you can digest really easily uh, on the go. That's, you know, hopefully less than 10 minutes long. So first, it's story time. It was the fall of 2009. I had recently graduated from college and was a commissioned officer in the United States Army. And I knew I was going to go to war eventually, but I didn't know when it was going to be. And during the fall of 2009, I found out that the unit I was going to was going to deploy the following May. So I was six months out from deployment. And in that moment, I went from thinking I'm going to deploy at some point to, okay, I have a timeline now, and it just became real. So I had a freak out moment right? Like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm going to go to war in six months. What do I do? Okay. But after my head stopped spinning and I got my feet underneath me, it's like, okay, what can I do in this situation? And I did what has become kind of a pattern of how I live my life is I just dove into learning. Okay. So I was like, I generally know about Afghanistan, but how can I just go deep learning about Afghanistan. So it was 2009, remember? So Wikipedia existed, but not like it did today. And I didn't have an iPhone. So I went to Wikipedia, typed in Afghanistan. And then I actually, I was at the local library and I printed out the Wikipedia page for Afghanistan. Printed it out all out, put it in a three ring binder and started studying it every day. And then I went to a website called the Army War College. Okay, the Army War College is where they send high-ranking officers to learn strategy um, in the military. Okay, so I went to the Army War College's website and they had a recommended reading list that was all about Afghanistan. That and it was probably 10 to 15 books all about Afghanistan. And I, I looked at that list and I went to Amazon and I ordered all the books on the War College's recommended reading list. And then from, you know, let's, let's call it November from November until January 1st, February 1st. And there I studied that printed out Wikipedia page about Afghanistan. And I read all those books about Afghanistan. And while I didn't become an expert in that time on Afghanistan, I felt like I really, really had put in the work and understood the culture, the history, um, you know, what, what to expect, right? Was I perfect? No. But if I think of kind of my peers and what other people were going into Afghanistan, uh, what knowledge set they had, I felt really good and it became a source of confidence for me. Okay. So there, that's story time, right? I was scared. I was freaked out. What did I do? I said, Hey, I'm going to double down on education and I'm going to learn everything I can about Afghanistan. But this is a real estate podcast, so what are we going to talk or how are we going to tie this to real estate? Well, here goes, okay? A few months ago, or let's let's call it all of 2021, Frank and I have been trying to figure out how can we scale what we're doing in the single family space. Virtual real estate investing is working great for us. We said, hey, we're going to rock Texas and Florida instead of going every market. We're going to go Texas and Florida and we're going to focus on those markets. And it's been going good. We've been wholesaling and flipping in those markets. But then we said, how can we do more? So we talked about trying to be an iBuyer. We talked about trying to create a fund. We talked about these different strategies. And what we realized is if we were going to look at a different strategy, we should also look at a different asset class. And through a bunch of different signs telling us this, we're like, okay, we're going to commit to self-storage. We think we have a really good opportunity right now in self-storage. So let's commit to this. So what did we do? Okay. I had that same feeling in my stomach where I was stressed and I was overwhelmed and I wasn't exactly sure how to move forward. But I said, I'm going to do what I've done in the past and I'm just going to dive deep into self-storage education. And this is what self-storage education looked like for me um, over the last couple months. Okay. One is YouTube University. I went to YouTube and I typed in self-storage investing and I watched, you know, I don't know if I watched every video, but I watched a lot of videos all about investing 
in self storage. Spent a lot of time watching those videos. And then I think there's five publicly traded REITs, real, real, real estate investment trusts, publicly traded REITs that focus on self storage. And I printed out all of their, all five of their annual reports. Um, if you go to their website, you can usually go to tax documents and it'll say 10K or annual report. I printed all those out and read all five of these publicly traded companies, their annual reports, because I, I felt like that would give me a good macro understanding of what the self-storage industry is. And then after I had that, that macro perspective, then I started really trying to dig into the opportunities for the little guy. How can Frank and I carve out our niche in the self-storage space. And that's when we started getting into the Storage Rebellion. And we paid um, to get into Storage Rebellion's course and we took that course and really tried to just absorb as much of that as we can. And then we've done consulting calls with Mike Wagner as well, trying to really narrow in what our strategy is gonna be. And then Nick Huber from The Sweaty Startup, we've also had him on the podcast. He's, he is just absolutely crushing it in self-storage and has really taken the sweaty startup idea to, okay, now I am a real estate private equity company and his company, Bolt Storage, is doing really well in the self-storage space as well. So then we met with him and I made sure when we met with him, I had very, very specific questions that I could, I had all this knowledge, but I had some really big questions that I needed him to answer in order to allow us to go to that next step, okay? With that knowledge, Frank and I felt confident to take down our first storage deal, okay? And we're taking it down right now. Um, we've, we've got some other stuff in the pipeline. We definitely feel like we're headed in the right direction. This doesn't mean we're experts, okay? This doesn't mean we know everything. Um, you know, hopefully we are still grounded and we understand that we have blind spots. But this is my point, is a lot of people will be stressed and they'll be anxious um, and they won't take take the action, okay? I think Frank and I are really good at taking action, but one thing people don't see is they don't see how much work we put in before we take the action, okay? So we made the decision, hey, let's let's go after self-storage. But then I would venture to say we both probably spent 100 hours reading all this stuff and talking to people and taking courses until we're like, okay, now I, now I feel good. You might say, hey, 100 hours really isn't that much. Um, but I'm, I'm sitting here telling you, I think 100 hours solely dedicated into self-storage with our history in the single family space is going to give us an edge and give us an opportunity in this, okay? So if you're out there thinking about how can I, how can I get, you know, years of experience in a short period of time or how can I grow uh, or, or kind of climb the growth curve, uh, figure out what resources you have available to you and then just go crazy diving in to those resources. And I really think that you can learn a ton in a short period of time. Thanks for listening. If you want to get on our email list, check out vrei.co, virtualrealestateinvesting.co, vrei.co. And we'd love to have you uh, on our e email newsletter list. Um, hit us up on the socials. We got an awesome Facebook group called Virtual Real Estate Investing uh, on Facebook. And then... Uh, we're still looking to buy deals. We're buying deals all the time, Texas and for Florida primarily, but we got a deal in Kentucky right now. We got a deal in Montana. Deals at graylineinvestments.com. Thanks for listening. Take care.